So finally we are done with the bedroom makeover. It was just like a mini makeover, not like super like elaborate or anything. But yeah, anyway, so I did a couple of vlogs ago. I did show kind of us starting this renovation situation and it took quite a while. Soon things took longer than expected as always stuff never you know goes according to like a timeline really um so yeah we are finally done and we moved everything back in here because we were sleeping like in the lounge on like a christmas bed situation so we are back here and everything is done and we are so 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 happy with how everything turned out so I'm not gonna continue like babbling on. Let's just get into it. So first off, this apartment is quite old. I don't know how old this is, but I know that, you know, it's been around for a long time. So there's quite a lot of touch-ups and stuff that we needed to do in the, in the apartment. And, you know, I showed the kitchen renovations and all those things, and we did some stuff in the lounge. Previously, so we've done quite a bit. I just think the bathroom is like the only spot that's kind of left. We still need to like redo, but I was like, nothing this year. We can, you know, do that next year if we want to, whatever. But I just don't have it in me to do any more projects like this. Like the rest of the year, we have like three months left or whatever. I just can't do this. So anyway, but other than that, we kind of had to do like touch-ups in all the areas of the apartment. So the bedroom was very yellow and old initially. And, you know, we kind of just started off by painting everything white because everything was white, but it was yellow because it was so old and like with the sun always shining on it and whatever, it was just like a not nice color anymore. So we just started off with painting everything white and that was, you know, like already made like such a big difference. So that's one thing that, you know, like just lifted the room, made it more airy and like fresh and whatever. Yeah, so that was one thing. And we didn't do anything like removing cupboards and stuff because we actually really need all the storage space and we didn't want to go like too wild with the cupboard situation in this bedroom. I think. We like the fact that there's quite a few drawers here and there's quite a lot of cupboards, you know, for the two of us. So like, you know, we didn't want to touch like the storage situation that we currently have. So we painted the cupboards white again and then we also removed all the handles and like little key holes and whatever that was in there and we either close them up or replace them with other little black ones and then all the handles were replaced with the same black hardware. That already made such a big change, you know, changing hardware on the cupboards and just painting them made a massive difference. And yeah, then I'm going to start showing you, like behind me, like all the changes we, we did to this area because that's kind of like the biggest area and that made the most impact on, on the change of it. Okay, so here we are and I'm going to start with the bedside tables because this was the maybe the hardest, second hardest part of this whole renovation thing. So the story about behind the uh, bedside table is that I couldn't find anything, anything that was like online or in store that, that I liked or that we liked. Everything was pretty generic pretty plain you know which is which is fine but you know I don't want to spend money on something that's just pretty average because we had really nice bedside tables uh, you know they were just too dark like a dark wood and it just didn't fit in with 
the whites and you know everything that we're trying to do in here so we had to change it and they would have looked funny if we painted it so we were like oh we need to get different bedside tables so ended up finding a picture on pinterest trying to search online can you find it anywhere you know is it for sale anywhere at least not in our country i couldn't find that and also bedside tables are excessively expensive anyway so obviously jason was very nice and he just suggested that he just make the bedside tables then we can have exactly what we want and hopefully don't need to spend that much money either anyway so this is how we got the bedside table as you can see here it's like half rounds so this is wood it has a wood top it's all like this this color is my favorite it's not like a cream it's not an off-white it's also not like a beige i don't know i will i don't know what the color it was like a color hori something some 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 color anyway love the color we were like we really did like take a leap because we were really not sure if the color was going to be right and everything but this is amazing so this is just around bedside table made of half rounds of wood and then a wooden um, top and yeah and then we suck it on together and then at the bottom the feet is like round wooden like balls so that's what it stands on so i am obsessed this is exactly what we wanted and jason worked very hard because he said this half round situation was quite the mission and we you know had to give it quite a few coats of paint but it turned out to be like exactly what we wanted and we spent i mean we had like still wood left so we took like off cuts of wood so we only literally spent money on buying the feet which i think worked out to be like maybe like 100 or 150 rand and then the paint which was like 200 i think 200 and something rand or so so that's basically all we spent for this so i am pretty chuffed about that anyway cool so moving on i'm gonna just chat about the actual wall so as you can see we did like a cladding on the wall and this wall was initially just a blank blank plain wall and we thought that that would add a really nice element to this room as we do not have a headboard so it will just create kind of like you know some character to the wall and add some extra detail to the room okay so moving on to the next area this is next to the bed and I just wanted to chat about the wall sconce so we knew we didn't want bedside lamps that like sit on the bedside table just because I always feel like it's hard to clean around it and you know it collects dust and it just takes up space on the bedside table and I just wanted some more like a clean look so anyway we found these and what Jason did was he actually create all the wiring behind this paneling so you can't see any wires and then it just comes out at the bottom on the um, skirtings and yeah no wiring no nothing hanging here so yeah this is beautiful at night and we also added all our lights on our google home automation system so you know we just say to turn it on and it will be turned on so we are so happy with that we have that on both sides of the bed it's not in anyone's way it's perfect if you want to read or whatever it just kind of creates that mood and it just looks beautiful against the wall and we don't have to have anything on our actual bedside table we also just have both of our google home or nest minis on either side of the bed and yeah so we just kind of like that's our alarm system that is how we turn on and off our lights and so on so we both have it and then jason just has some space for his phones and i have the space for my phone 
but other than that everything that used to be in our drawers of our bedside tables we've either like put away because it doesn't need to be there or we found like a, a logical storage space for it so we all sort of that and i feel like because we don't have the drawers next to the bed to put stuff in we won't have as much clutter or whatever so so now it's kind of like all clean space situation next up i just wanted to chat about the art pieces or whatever you want to call it behind me because we changed that up as well so initially when i got the frames last year i think it was during lockdown i painted i painted some stuff on paper and we put it in there and i was like cool once i can afford better like artwork or prints or whatever i'll put that in there and so when i did this or when we planned this whole mini renovation thing i was like oh this is obviously the time now to take those hand painted things out because it it like crumpled up and stuff so it, it wasn't great it was fine for the time but it wasn't great so i ended up ordering three prints from etsy you pay for it they send you the i think it's the jpeg files and you can just print it so we got these three and it's beautiful it's kind of a beach vibe versus just a neutral kind of palette or whatever and that's kind of what i wanted it fits in with everything in the room so i just feel like it adds also to the to the wall again because we don't have a headboard it helps the paneling plus the like prints on the wall just helps give some dimension as we don't have a headboard to kind of like draw that definition so this is what it looks like as you can see there this is the bed, there's the panelling, the lights. I have, as you can see, I have pampas there as well as there. And I have two of the same kind of pots for it. So I have that on either side of the bed. And then, as you can see, the panelling goes through all the way to this wall as well. So we kind of kept it all through the room. As you can see here. Uh, all the way there's my bedside table with my phone charger my watch um charger my google home and then as you can see also have the wall scones on my side and i love how that color of the bedside table really like just gives a little bit of definition to the room and everything isn't like all, all white we also just added new roller blinds here these are plain white not full blocker but like half ish so it does the sun can come in or the light can come in but the it keeps like the intense sun out so these are also just plain white um like half block out photo blinds and then to this side this kind of say the same we have cabinets all up there we have our tv there's a mirror behind it that's been there since we got here then we have a lot of drawer space here and then we have long cupboard, more cupboards there, and cupboards all the way there. So we painted all of that, put the handles on, and so on. So they're all the consistent and pretty. And then lastly, between the cupboards, we also added like a wall scones down light situation up there. So that the light can shine onto the mirror because it's quite a dark corner. So it shines down onto the mirror so when you like want to get dressed early morning or in the evening it just adds to you being able to see what you actually are wearing because of the cupboards it was quite dark in that corner so we just added that light as well yeah and that is basically it that is all we did in this room i mean it doesn't sound like a lot but i can promise you it was quite the job because this paneling we you know the wall wasn't super straight, so we struggled with that. Uh, it sounds like an easy job, and the videos we've watched, people make it look easy, but we didn't work off like a blank canvas or like a new apartment, you know, where everything is fresh and new and it's kind of easy. 
So we kind of struggled with that, not too intensely, but it wasn't as easy as the, you know, YouTube videos look like. And then that was the hard part. And then I would say the bedside tables. It was really, Jason had to like work late in the evening to get that sorted because he had to like take wooden pieces and create those half rounds and I know you can buy those but it would have been so expensive so he had to put in some extra hours and actually make them but I mean they came out looking so so good so and we spent like basically no money on it so that's amazing and then yeah I painted all the doors and stuff and then he would put on the hardware and yeah I think all around it looks really nice and it's just like a clean, like, common space, which used to be like an old space. Like, everything was just super outdated and, you know, we did like touch-ups here and there through the years, but I feel like this is the biggest, like, makeover for this room that we've done so far. We painted the walls previously and whatever, but it was never like exactly what we wanted. So now it's like, really nice and I think we're gonna like just love vibing in this space and yeah I hope you enjoyed watching this video and please give it a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos even though I don't think we'll be doing any kind of renovations um, very soon but yeah I hope you have a good weekend and then I will see you next week again Hello to moon I mistook you for a dream The engine glows And I guess you always seem to know Hello to moon I push back the serious healing The ends unknown To get back the life I used to know Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last